Right, so it's time for us to get to some updates from our world of business. My name is Kweku Timin. We don't only serve you with the best in news, but we also, at every point in time, ensure that consistently we're picking every bit of the awards. Now, I'll confirm that to you shortly as TV3's culinary show, It's the Band, has been a Jad TV3 TV program of the year at the 26th Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana Awards here in Accra. Managing Director of Stambik Bank, Alasa Nandani, and the Managing Director of Airtel Ghana, Lucy Quest, were judged Marketing Personalities of the Year. The Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana Award seek to create awareness for marketing concept and its relevance towards the success of businesses. It is a high-profile event during which individuals and organizations are acknowledged for their marketing excellence and innovations. President of the Ghana Institute of Technology, Nana Dr. Kufiose, entreated marketing professionals to ensure that marketing is done professionally. In all, 37 awards were presented. Ezipana. We're merging the TV program of the year 2014. TV3's culinary show, Eziban, was acknowledged for stimulating competition among each region in the country and enabling such facilities to meet customer expectations. It is the second time the program has been nominated in the award scheme, which has been rewarding excellence in the past 25 years. If there is any motivation, this is the best one. This is what I've been yearning for. I'm so proud that I've made it. The producer, Marian Mante, promised nothing but the best in the coming years. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel proud. And it makes me feel that, yes, people are watching and that I need to step up my game. I need to work harder. And that you don't have to lose God. At the end of the day, something good can come out. And today we are all celebrating. I want to say thank you to CIMG. I want to say thank you to all our sponsors. Bush Canteen at Chiashi, Ecobank, Japan Motors, SIC Life, Starbo Airlines, Graphic Communications Group, Tobinko Pharmaceuticals, among others, were awarded. Vodafone Ghana was adjudged the Telecom Company of the Year. Managing Director of Stambek Bank, Al Hassan Andani, and the Managing Director of Etel Ghana, Lucy Quist, were adjudged the Marketing Personalities of the Year. Some awardees spoke to the news team. Oh, this award is very significant. Uh, as you are aware, last year we won this award. If we won it for the second time, this shows how clear, is, how strong Sabo is working. We feel so honored to win this award. And going forward, as per our promise, we have an objective to extend our investment. The 26th National CIMG Award was on the theme, The Future of Marketing, Evolve or Die. With pride, we say it's the banner, and you equally respond, Zizi. But, you know, I'll take a break and tell you about one reason why Ghanaian meals cannot be compared to any from anywhere in the world. Momone. Ideally, I give it an English name, Bonda Sweet. Now, I'll give you some information. Though an age-long delicacy to most people, Momone is still one critical ingredient. They will not be left out in the preparation of their meals. Meal. But with the increase of modern spices, how patronized is the commodity on the market? Catherine Frimpong finds out more. For the typical, traditionally inclined Ghanaian woman, the process to a very delicious delicacy begins right here in the market, from the choosing of the appropriate ingredients for the particular meal to be prepared. But one common traditional ingredient that has grown through the ages and is still being patronized by people is salted fish, also known as momone. And to some people, their meal is just incomplete without at least a pinch of it. And so we need to say, oh, the yes, to the yet, 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 the
Greater percentage of Ghanaians take delight in using salted fish, popularly known as momone, in their cooking to add taste. It is a normal fish eaten anywhere in the world. The difference, however, is that it has been soaked in salt for days and left to ferment, giving it a stinking flavor. Momone, literally meaning stinky fish, has other names like obonde, meaning it is stinky but also tasty. To some, it spices up food. Some local dishes like palava sauce, fante fante, granuts and palm nut soups are just not complete without the age-old ingredients. But owing to modernity, some people now prefer modernized spices to some of the traditional ones. Oh, your garlic, your ginger powder, your adobo, ni spices, different, different. But the old cooks still hold the natural spices supreme. Mawani sellers are, however, worried. Cost of trading in the commodity is now difficult. That notwithstanding, not even the high prices can even scare them from eating their inevitable momone. I whet your appetite now. If you've not tasted it yet anywhere, Ghanaian, probably report to me. I'll fix up something for you.